It's a good time to catch a quick workout. Over the noon hour, many people take advantage of the free track and open ice here at the Pomeroy Sports Center or enjoy a dip at the North Peace Leisure Pool. And now residents will be able to find more information on all the activities going on around Fort St. John by visiting the city's new recreation Facebook page. Someone can subscribe to our new Facebook page and they'll get everything recreation that happens in town. So all of the special events that happen at Centennial Park and out and around all the sports fields, what's going on there. Um, they'll also, it will like post things about the skating loop. Um, we've kind of lost it a little bit this year, but we might be able to get it back. I'm not too sure with this warm weather. Um, and yeah, it's just an avenue for everyone to be able to do like the Facebook page and then they can check up on it and see what's going on daily in the city. It's a step forward to help promote active and healthy lifestyles. We definitely just want everyone in the town to be active. Uh, we have this walking track that's free for use seven days a week, so that's a start. And then we've also got these other programs just focused on the different age groups as well, just for everybody to get out, be active. Hopefully spring is around the corner soon, but if it's not, there's tons of indoor programs to do as well. The city also launched a new recreational guide today that is available online. The need came from the growing number of recreational activities that are offered around the city. This year, about 20 new programs have been added. It's a quarterly publication. It's just online. We have a few copies at all of our city locations that people can look at. But you just go on there, see what's good for your family or your kids, and you sign up for one of the programs. It's a good way to have everything where you can find it, you know, and online as well. That's a good place to have it. So it's nice to see what's available, uh, what times are you can come and do these activities, and it's just a benefit to the whole community. City officials say they wanted to separate all the recreational activities from all the other things on the city's website, like bylaws, garbage and snow removal, and so they created their own Facebook page. We're active ourselves, but probably more active with the kids, and there's a lot of activities going on for the kids. And, um, you know, it's, it's nice to have separated out from the rest of the city website, uh, just a source of information that we can look at to, uh, to get them more involved. Uh, certainly the swimming lessons outlined in there is a good thing for us. It's great news for newcomers like Fort St. John Huskies forward Sebastian Palsy. I'm new to town, so it's nice to actually see something where I can uh, check it out online and know where I can go to find what I want to do in town. Uh, obviously ball hockey is going to be a great interest for me um, and uh, any other hockey things going on in that book will be something of interest for myself. So far activities listed in the new recreational guide are only provided by the city but in the next year more events from community groups and nonprofits who run soccer and slow pitch events will be included in the guide. Brendan Miller, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.